so I love this sweater. It is so cute. I love the twisted stitch design. Maybe it's gonna fit. It's supposed to be like boxy and loose fitting. <laughs> and then with fitted sleeves. So, but it, it right now, I mean, it fits Owen and he's six and I, I might need to give this to one of my nieces, but I am gonna block it. So I thought it would be really fun to do an experiment and I figured at least if I'm not gonna get a sweater out of this, at least not without frogging and re-knitting this, because I have a lot more yardage left over than I'm supposed to as well, then I can at least take you guys on a journey blocking it to see how much this is gonna grow. finished binding off this really adorable sweater but it's not a kid's sweater the sweater is supposed to fit me and as you can see it's it's really little it's really 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 little even for me um, it is a cropped sweater with fitted sleeves but it's supposed to be really boxy and not as cropped as it is. This is a super wash yarn. There is a ton of stretch in it. Both directions have quite, quite a bit of stretch. Now, I did not use, I did not make a gauge swatch because I was on a test knitting deadline and I got behind because I took too many projects on. So what I did was I knit the back of the sweater and then I stretched it a bit and I was, I was pretty much getting gauge when I stretched it a bit. I figured it was a superwash yarn and would be growing in the blocking process so that if I stretched it a little bit when measuring my gauge, maybe it would kind of give me an idea of my gauge. So I thought I was pretty close, but as you can see, this has turned out really, really, really cropped. More cropped, I'm gonna actually try it on and more fitted on the sleeves than I would like. So I can get the sweater on. I can get the sweater on and it kind of sort of covers my boobs, but I, I don't have a lot of, this is really tight. I'm not really sure that this is gonna be a salvageable sweater for me. This is how, this is where we're starting. So, I don't, I do not have high hopes of this blocking out to be a sweater that I am going to be able to wear. Maybe, probably not. But I figured for the sake of the video, my channel, we can do a oops, I messed up kind of experiment and see how much we can grow this thing in the blocking process. So let's try it. Okay, so I soaked my sweater in water, just uh, cool water with some Euclid soap in it for an hour to get it fully saturated. And then I jelly rolled it in some towels and stomped all the water out of it or as much as I could. And so I just laid it on my blocking mats and now I have my um, Knitter's Pride knit blockers and I am going to pin my sweater to the dimensions 
that are supposed to be the final dimensions of the size and the pattern schematic. So I my dimensions are in a document that is on my phone, so I am going to have to pause the camera while I pin it so that I can look up the measurements. Um, but I'm gonna go get my tape measure and I've got my pins and I will check back in with you when I've got this blocked out. Okay, so my first measurement was the bust circumference and that is 22 inches. So I've got my measuring tape and it was really easy to stretch the bottom of my garment to 22 inches. So I still have to stretch the top of it out that far, um, but before I do that, I need to know how tall my sweater needs to go. So I am going to measure, I need to get to 15.75 inches tall for the length of my sweater, for the total length. So that's gonna be like from the shoulder down to the bottom of the hem. So before I pin out the sides, I'm going to see where 15.75 inches is so that I know how far up I need to go. Okay, so as you can see, I've got quite a lot of vertical stretching to do here. So let's get stretching. Okay, so now that I figured out how tall I need to stretch my garment, I need to do a couple of things. First, you can see that when I pulled it up, the bottom part that I did not have pinned automatically went up. So I'm gonna have to bring that back down with the pins. And then I'm also going to have to bring the sides out to match the 22 inch width. Wish me luck, cause I'm not sure that this is really gonna work out. Yikes guys, okay. This is turning out to be a highly aggressive block. I have stretched the body of this sweater to the proper dimensions and it's not really going to stretch much more than that especially at the shoulder seams is pretty much i got them as close to 6.75 inches as i could i actually ran out of my blocking pins my nice straight ones so i still need to block out my sleeve depth my upper arm is especially a concern so i need to move on to some t-pins for that so this actually is stretching quite a bit i need to stretch this to seven inches so i'm gonna pin it out um the sleeves when i tried it on fit really way too snug for my liking so i am going to um open up those sleeves as much as I can and get that blocked out. Okay, so I have my sleeve blocked out so that I have a seven inch depth here. So I decided to remove my straight pin from the neckline and right under the arm and replace those with these pins just to get a little bit straighter edge um, at the top there and I'm going to do that on the other side as well. I also don't block out the ribbing so it easily stretches to the right length, um, the right width, so I'm not worried about that at all. So I just kind of loosely pinned it down um, just to keep some kind of shape, but I've mainly focused on this area right in like the armpit, my upper arm. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side, but yeah, this is, this is how we're looking so far. So you can see the difference between how skinny that is. So if I let it dry like that, I won't have any room for my arms, but it does easily stretch easily, easily, easily. So that actually was not a problem. It was just a little bit time consuming, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it blocked out. I have no idea if it's gonna hold its shape because this is an extremely aggressive block, but this is an experiment and I figure let's just see what happens. Okay guys, I have finished blocking out 
my sweater. This is the most aggressive block that I think I have ever done. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna see how this works out. I will be leaving this here for at least 24 hours. You want to make sure that it has time to completely, completely dry. Um, and then I'm going to be curious <laughs> to see what happens if this sweater is going to keep to these very stretched out dimensions or if it is going to cinch in again quite a bit. Um, yeah, this is basically called the most aggressive blocking that you can possibly do. I'm not too worried about um, all of the T-pins in the arms. I don't usually block um, my sleeves out that much, but usually I'm not having to have so many of these pins on the body. So I'm usually able to have just a couple of the chunkier pins. Um, but the sleeves are going to be pretty tight fitting. I don't really think that all those little bumps from the pins are going to be noticeable on my arms. So not too worried about that. I basically tried to keep a fairly straight line across the top of the sleeve and just block out um, a room enough for my upper arm there because it was very very tight especially in the shoulder area so this was a, a sweater that was knit in pieces but the arms the sleeves were picked up from the body of the sweater so another option that I could have done would have been to block the front and the back before sewing them together usually that's what I would do but I was running on a pretty tight deadline, so I just did my mattress stitch at the selvage edges and decided to hold off on the blocking until the sweater was complete. So yeah, I made sure to stretch out um, the seven inches that I knew I was going to need for blocking. And basically I seamed from the bottom up until um, the bottom of the arm, leaving seven inches stretched of fabric for the sleeve to fit in. So crossing my fingers that, that this might work out. Um, we will see. I am very curious to see how well this aggressive blocking <laughs> might work. Um, so I figured it was worth a try before I just frogged the sweater and tried to figure out whether I needed a bigger needle size or just kept the same needle size but to size up a garment size. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this works out. I will keep you guys posted, but I'll check back in with you um, after probably, let's see, it's Monday night, so probably Wednesday morning I'll take this off of the mat. And we'll have a little try-on session. All right. Until then, bye. Okay, guys. Here we are. It is actually Tuesday night, and my sweater feels pretty dry. So I am going to attempt to remove the pins. You can see that I already took out all of the T-pins. And um, the sweater so far has, you can see, it is keeping shape. So let's remove these pins and see what happens.
You guys, all the pins are out. All the pins are out. It still has its shape. Do you guys look at that? All right, well, so this true test is gonna be when I try it on. So cross your fingers for me, but this is good. I'm gonna flip it over and make sure the back is completely dry. And I'm gonna try it on. Probably wait and do that on camera till tomorrow because I am in my PJs already, but yeah. All right. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the sweater all blocked out. So look at that. It kept its shape and it actually fits me. Oh my goodness. I'm going to put this on and do a little um, do a little demonstration for you guys. So in this case it worked. My blocking experiment worked. It it fits me. I can wear this. It's a little warm out today but we're having this weird like 75 degree <laughs> weather day all of a sudden but look at this I'm gonna try to stand up and show you guys I will insert some pictures too because we took some pictures of it so look at the difference I honestly did not think that the sweater was going to end up fitting me but it's very comfortable. The sleeves are much more comfortable now. It's drop shoulder like it's supposed to be. I still maybe should have either gone up a needle size or one size in the pattern to get maybe a more comfortable fit. It's not uncomfortable, but I mean, I did have to stretch this thing to its maximum stretching potential <laughs> to get it to the uh, correct dimensions. But I mean, there's, look, the body, there's, there's plenty of room here. It is a fitted sleeve sweater with a boxy cropped design, which is exactly what was advertised in the pattern. So thank goodness, <laughs> I feel like this is now a sweater that I can enjoy wearing and we had a successful blocking experiment um i would not rely on being able to block out your knitted garments to the extent that i have i've two times i've had um i've had this happen where i tried on my sweater because i didn't exactly do gauge swatch beforehand and um was just kind of crossing all of my fingers and toes in the blocking process that it would work out and it did work out for me both times um, and the other sweater is one that I wear frequently and have enjoyed for a couple of years already so I can see I can see that I will in fact be able to wear and keep this sweater sorry to my niece who will not be getting this sweater unless I gain some weight which could happen if I gain weight and can't wear it anymore, then I will pass it down to my 13 year old niece. Um, yeah, but I am absolutely thrilled with this experiment. This pattern is the Earth Folk sweater. I think that's what it's called, Earth Folk, and it is by Annie Lupton of Boho Chic Fiber Co. And I was a test knitter for her. And by the time this video is up, the pattern will be released it is coming out on april 29th so head on over she usually has a discount for the first week of her pattern um, or, or at least like the first three or four days so head on over either to her website bohochicfiberco.com or on ravelry and you can find this really cute new design i love this so this was knit in twisted stitches pattern and i actually this this sweater took me like maybe eight days to knit it was so quick it um it was really fun the twisted stitching la 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 <laughs> the twisted stitches pattern is super easy to memorize um how to do the two different stitches that were both new to me and it was super fun and super easy and yeah, I definitely recommend this. You might want to check your gauge though. 
don't be like me. <laughs> don't be like me. It's not a good idea. Um, it worked out for me because I used a superwash yarn. I think if you used a regular wool yarn, it would block out some, but superwash is known to stretch quite a bit more. So I think that that's where I lucked out in this instance. So yeah, do a gauge swatch. <laughs> Don't be like me. Don't have to cross your fingers. Um, but yeah, so this, I'd say this was a successful experiment in the magical powers of blocking your finished garments. Because if I were the knitter that I was three or four years ago before I had started to block my garments, I would not be able to wear that sweater. Yeah, not at all. Um, it just, it makes such a difference blocking your finished pieces. Um, blocking is not done to stretch your garments out unless you're like, it, it's done to expand the pattern in like a lace pattern that that's going to really open up your design in general it's just a way of evening out your stitches from washing and drying the fibers it's not meant to be what i used it as which was stretching my garment to the final dimensions it's it's not meant as a quick fix for for failing to do a gauge swatch but it is meant to make your finished knitted garment look more polished and even stitches. And I block everything now. It's definitely worth that extra step. And yeah, go head on over and get the Earth Folk design. This is a super cute pattern. I'm gonna insert some pictures at the end of this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed seeing my blocking experiment, please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I've got more videos coming out very soon. I look forward to seeing you guys all soon. Have a fantastic day, fantastic week, a fantastic everything. Bye-bye. to you today because I just finished this adorable sweater and this sweater is not supposed to be for an adorably silly kid it's supposed to be for who the sweater is supposed to be for me so it came out quite small it is a cropped sweater um, even on Owen Superwash. so I'm wondering if the blocking process will salvage the sweater for me may as well try it before i unknit the whole thing or frog the whole thing and re-knit it to a larger size or use bigger needles or re-knit a larger size and bigger